this award can do something fantastic in the world of architecture. The awards are important because they try to elevate the standards against which we do things. This is at the highest level, both in terms of social responsibility and in terms of architectural excellence. I think the fact that we had you know, other disciplines represented on the jury was uh, the, perhaps the most important aspect of the composition of the jury. The philosophers, the artists in the jury, uh, they had really an amazing contribution to make in broadening the reading of the projects. There were different schools of architecture present among our architect colleagues. There was a fantastic artist. The two other non-architects who tried to embed the architectural argumentations in a broader conceptual frame. When you're in a jury, one has to listen and one has to be open-minded and flexible and really see the viewpoint of the other. Sometimes we were, um, for example, two voted for and the rest against, and only the two convinced us that it's a good project. In my case, look, on some occasions I had to change my mind because of what I heard other people say. So there were conflicts throughout. Then the discussion became much more interesting, much more vivid, and the content of it, the argumentations about it were, were extremely rich. As you can understand, there have been let's say frictions, fights, fi we have had a lot of... Uh... It eventually resolved itself to a level where everyone still enjoys each other's company. And I don't think the jury had definitive camps. I think it, it worked very beautifully as a team. We started uh, with the 23 finalists. And, and then the elimination process that took place, it took place really very slowly and very consciously. I think the result was ultimately very natural. On the one hand was the indicators that the steering committee had suggested, and the other hand was criteria dear to each of us. You look at things in a formal eye, you look at things in why they are done, what's the idea behind of it. We didn't set an agenda of the messages we were going to give. We were very interested to look at the spectrum of architectural ventures and to see what are the messages, uh, what are the issues that seem to be prevalent. The jury cannot go there, technical reviewers go there, they are substitute of the eyes and the mind of the jury. There needed to be another layer to either allow us to dismiss or, or form new criteria or support what we were thinking. They're better than us going to the sites because they bring to the discussion an objectivity which being part of the jury you can never have. They are also the ones that actually feel the place uh, which is very important for architecture. Wow, it's fantastic. Yeah. We put the pieces and we tie it with a rope. And put pieces and we tie it with a rope. And I think although we have very exhaustive reports that are given to us by the technical reviewers, their spontaneous sort of interaction and the deliberations that occur uh, you know, through questions and clarifications we have of the projects are, are really, really critical because uh, eventually that really becomes the basis uh, for those decisions. looks upon the projects as being representatives of a modern and contemporary architectural excellence. This package is a package, but each project has very strong individuality in it for each of us. Each one of the projects can be looked at by themselves and one can learn from them. If you want to look at what message the Aga Khan Award for Architecture is trying to give, I think that you need to consider them as a whole also because uh, it, is, it is their mix, their plurality 
that uh, is really about uh, the award and the message we want to give.